Today we're going to be pitting Crumble against Insomnia and seeing which cookie chain truly deserves more hype. Now we're going to be crushing a lot of cookies today and kicking things off with a classic chocolate chunk from both places. Do you want to start with the crumble? Yeah, let's do that. All right, check this out. Ooh, that's soft. Okay, let's give it a shot. We're off to a good start with that. Such a good amount of chocolate chunks, and then such an unbelievably buttery and soft cookie, almost sticky. That's how, that's like the type of consistency. It's just so good. Let's get into insomnias now. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of came into this whole thing hoping that I wouldn't like crumble all that much, and things aren't looking good for me. <laughs> that's a bit more homemade. A meltier chocolate chip, absolutely. All right, so like you said, it has a le little bit more of a homemade quality, and I think it's because it's a little bit has a little bit more of a crisp to it. Mm -hmm. The chocolate chunks are far more prevalent and adding a lot more to that experience, but it's still just as buttery on the inside, but a little less gooey. For me, I think I would get insomnia's first. I actually think so. I can't believe it. But no, there was like, especially if you like a lot of chocolate in it and you're in it for the chocolate, that was really, really good. All right, next up, I'm thinking. Uh, Crumble currently has this like chocolate cookie with like a marshmallow frosting and then Insomnia has their chocolate s'mores one that also has marshmallows in it. So they're both chocolate bases with marshmallow frosting and or with marshmallow. And so I would be interested in doing those side by side. Let's do that. Again, we will stick with Crumble first and then we'll go to Insomnia after that. I'm gonna do the side by side. I forgot to do that for the chocolate chunk. I'll have to do that for the rest from here on out. Oh, that's rich and dark. That is a rich cookie, chewy, but that frosting's adding so much. Wow. That exceeded my expectations. That whipped cream on the outside definitely does not resemble marshmallow in any capacity, but the cake, but the cookie itself has a cakey-like quality to it, much like a Hostess cupcake of some sort. And you know what I'm actually picking up a lot on? Salt. Mm, they have a good salt level. Yeah. That it wasn't too like dense, like a like a like a really dense brownie. I had a, had a great texture, and like you said, that marshmallow cream tasted more just like a straight whipped cream. Yeah, s'mores. Those textures couldn't be any different from one another. There are two entirely different cookies, that's for sure. Yeah, Insomnia's, when you hit that marshmallow though, you are getting marshmallow. That is exactly what it is. But again, the exterior had a little bit more of a crisp on it, but the interior was straight goo. Yeah. I think that that was a better actual like cookie, but overall I'm giving it to Crumble. I would get that one again before the other. I would definitely get the Crumble again too. The only thing I wasn't crazy about with the Insomnia is I just don't really like that much give to the marshmallow, that much chew to the marshmallow, even though I really did like the other textures going on. And it also didn't speak too much grim. All right, next up, what do you think? Um, let's do the maple and then side by side that with the Insomnia's salted caramel. Sounds good Because they both didn't have comparable like side by sides, but both sound really good. Yes. All right, starting with the crumble. Let's do that for the entire video. Now this is like a maple glaze cookie. I mean, this is a salted caramel cookie, but this is a maple glaze that's got like brown sugar on it. Is there anything inside? I don't know. I don't think so. So, so far it's 1-1. One, one. The score is even. Yes. Okay. I don't know that that is maple. I don't taste much maple, but my goodness.
I dare say, that is one of the best cookies I've ever eaten in my life. And like you said, with the exception of one bite, there was almost an undetectable amount of maple. But what you are tasting is brown sugar. Yes. And then the consistency is unlike any other cookie I've, I've ever had. I don't know if you can describe it. I, I can't. But if they called that snickerdoodle, I would say it was the best snickerdoodle, uh, snickerdoodle cookie that I've ever had in my life. It was incredible. Wow. Insomnia has a lot to live up to after that. Yeah, it was somewhere between like, somewhere between an extremely buttery cookie and like a cake. Wow, it's something else. This is gonna be the hardest decision of my life. Yeah, that is definitely, both of those options were the best that we've had from either place. That's for sure. That salted caramel one is so good because again, you've got the extremely like homemade feel to that cookie, extremely buttery, and then you're getting more of like a chewy caramel, a perfect amount of salt, it's great. But I do think that I'm going to give it to Cromwell just because I've never had anything like that in my life. Yeah, it's one of the best cookies I've ever eaten. And the salted caramel deluxe cookie from Insomni is one of my favorite cookies that they offer. Mm -hmm. But that, that Cromwell cookie is unlike anything else. That was a really tough fight. Okay, up next, I'm thinking that maybe we take down this Oreo one, because this looks awesome. I think this is the one that most people were talking about in the hour and a half long line that we waited to get these because the crumble just opened near us. Yeah. And let's do that next to this chocolate cookie that we also got with an order of cream cheese frosting because this Oreo one is a chocolate cookie. I guess it's Oreo filled, but then it is topped with cream cheese frosting and like some crumbled Oreo. And so then Insomnia has this, which is a hot fudge sundae. It's also filled, I guess, I guess with like some frosting or something. And then we got a side of cream cheese frosting. So they're both cream cheese frosting and chocolate cookies. Oh, that is very soft. Very, very soft. Okay. Okay. Crumble. That is very good cream cheese frosting. Yeah, I think that this has to happen. That high five was for the cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. You know what that cookie kind of tastes like? It tastes like the chocolate crust on a cheesecake, like an Oreo crust. It tastes just like that. The entire thing reminded me of the Oreo Dream Extreme from the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, seriously, very good. I, I really enjoyed it, and that cream cheese frosting is exceptional. Okay, let's add cream cheese frosting to this chocolate cookie. You go for the entire container? May as well. Okay, I can tell you straight off the bat, Insomnia's, Insomnia's uh, cream cheese frosting, way better than this. Well, you mean crumbles? Cream cheese frosting. Crumbles cream cheese frosting. Yes, crumbles cream cheese frosting. Sorry, getting a little confused with the names. Okay, let's see how the combination is though. I don't know how they're getting away with calling that cream cheese frosting, but that combination was exceptional. If you had the 100th anniversary Oreos that were chocolate confetti cake, that tasted like the ultimate version of that cookie. Hmm. I'll tell you what, if it just came down to the cookie, I would give it to Insomnia. Hmm. The actual cookie I like more. <coughs> It has more of a crisp factor and a little bit of extra texture from the sprinkles that were in. It was good. But the overall combination has to go to crumble. 100% agree. The cream cheese frosting was amazing. And then the Oreos adding the texture in there was also really nice. A lot of fun. All right, next up, I kind of want to do this fruit thing. Yes. It, 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 like, like when we were taking it out, that's the softest cookie I've ever felt in my life. So yeah, I don't even they, know how to handle it. They call it a cream, they, it's a cream cheese cookie with some kind of like lemon buttercream that's and then yeah. some fruit on top. That's what the Instagram post said, so. Whoa, I just, again, I have no idea what to make of this texture. It is, like, I could fold it over like a taco. There was surprisingly no fruity options at Insomnia this week, so we are gonna side-by-side -side it and just do the classic Funfetti Deluxe Cookie. Okay, let's give this a shot. I wouldn't call 
that a cookie? No, that is, that is most definitely a cake. I have to deduct points just for the fact that they're calling it a cookie. It's not a cookie. It is a cake, but it is delicious. The frosting to cake ratio was fantastic. That nice lemon flavor in the frosting I was picking up on. Another point that I am knocking is the use of a grape as, the, like, as one of the toppings. I do not think grape is a fruit to go on top of a cookie or a cake, but the berries were nice. Yeah, I'm, I, I wasn't picking up on much lemon. It is very, very subtle. It tastes more like a cream cheese frosting, but I really, really enjoyed it. Again, not really a cookie, but absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Now we know that these are not comparable, but we're going for it anyway. I will be judging them based off of B2 cookies. They're both like the like most plain, I guess, of any of them. This is another hard one because the crumble is really special, but that's a cookie. And that's probably the best sugar cookie that I've ever had. It's one of my favorites, and I've had many sugar cookies in my life, local, gourmet, grocery stores, but that one is special with, that, with those white chocolate chips in it, perfect amount of texture on the outside, super buttery soft on the inside. It's not difficult for me. While you would expect that I would want the one coated in frosting, I would get the insomnia any day. Again, not comparable, but if I have to give a point to one, I'm going insomnia. Yes, it was so good. But the, the, we, ne next up, we actually have a directly comparable one. Both places have an oatmeal chocolate chunk right now. And so I, that would be a great one to go to next, See, especially seeing because we just ordered every deluxe cookie from, from insomnia. So we have one left over because there's one more than they have on the crumble menu. But before we get to that, let's do the oatmeal chocolate chunks. Gonna give them a side by side of both at the same time. Which one was which? I for, <laughs> I kind of got lost. This is, the, this is the crumble, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I wanted to be sure though. So there's the crumble, and there's the insomnia. Insomnia definitely has a lot more color to it. Yeah. The crumble feels softer, which I guess is the overall experience as of right now. Yeah, absolutely. That is very aggressive on the cinnamon. This is a cinnamon oatmeal cookie with chocolate chunks. And it is cinnamon, that's for sure. A little bit too much cinnamon for me to pair with milk chocolate chunks. Mm -hmm. But again, the texture is a lot softer. If I was blindfolded, I would know whose cookies was whose based off of the texture. Absolutely. Insomnia is proving to have that crisper exterior and a gooey interior, super buttery interior. And all of um, crumbles just feel like a soft baked cookie. Yeah, they have a very sticky quality to them, which I really enjoy. Again, I love the texture of them. Again, too much cinnamon for me, but and when it comes to the texture, that one was absolutely amazing. I love that stickiness. Mm -hmm. This one's got walnuts. And I think I just need to show you one more time just how much chocolate is in that. I don't know if you can see. And I don't know how they get their chocolate chips to stay melty. Yeah, it's, it's just so much more chocolate than the other one. It's insomnia, they get the point, no doubt. That is definitely the better oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. The walnuts add, add a bit to it. The whole thing just was incredible. I know that going to insomnia was not nearly as fun and exciting as, of an experience as going to crumble, and that everything from crumble was just being made on the spot, really clean environment, lots of fun. But man, insomnia is doing a pretty good job holding up next to them when it comes to just the cookies. Yeah, I'll give my final thoughts on the two in a minute, but I do understand why Crumble has so much hype right now. Yeah, absolutely. But insomnia is like, it just feels so tried and true. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the last one, because again, we ordered the entire deluxe cookie menu, and so we were left over with, this is the peanut butter cup. 
And if you go to Insomnia, you would have to get the deluxe cookies to match the same kind of size and weight of a crumble cookie. Mm -hmm. That's a Reese's peanut butter cup cookie. Absolutely. I'm a huge Reese's fan, a huge peanut butter guy, but I'm not crazy about peanut butter cookies, to be honest. So that's not like one of my, like, that wouldn't be a go-to for me. Is that a peanut butter base though? Absolutely. I thought I was just getting the peanut butter from the peanut no, butter cups. That is 100% a peanut butter cookie. We're gonna have to look into that. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> anyways, overall, do you have a preference between the two? If we were to wipe the slate clean on the individual rounds, not look at any score whatsoever, which place are you going to based off of the actual cookies? Uh, it's tough because I feel like I would go to Insomnia more regularly, but I would go to Crumble for a little bit more of an experience for something different outside the norm, a little bit elevated, a little bit different, but all in all, the Insomnia held up next to it. And I think that for me, it really is a different day, a different place. But I, again, I think Insomnia is gonna be a more frequent go-to. I think as far as the actual experience of going to Crumble and what those cookies were, it feels like a very special occasion to me. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's a really exciting, it's a really exciting thing, I guess, overall. I, I understand why it seems to be as popular as it is. Mm -hmm. The actual cookies are unbelievable. As far as their texture goes, again, a little bit softer of a bake and a very unique eating experience. Insomnia has that more classic cookie with an extremely buttery, gooey center, but that nice crisp edge. It feels like a place where if I just wanted a cookie, if I just want a cookie, I'm going to Insomnia. Yeah. If I want an experience, I'm going to Crumble. Yeah. And I think that I have to give my overall vote to Crumble for that because they were the same price Yeah. for the amount of cookies that we got. Yeah, and the thing about Insomnia, the, thing, the good thing about Insomnia is the fact that it is consistent. Like the menu is pretty much the same all the time. Crumble is a little bit more of a gamble. And so I guess that is what makes it more special. Now, unfortunately today, I feel like maybe it was like some of the flavors that they had didn't stand up to Insomnia's in terms of like, their oatmeal like having way too much cinnamon in it or like one of the cookies not even really feeling like a cookie at all and stuff but like so maybe if we went there more regularly got to try a little bit more options and stuff it would feel even more special but I also feel like eating the half dozen that we ate I pretty much have a very strong look into what their menu would consistently feel like yeah and what what that experience of their cookies would be yeah so overall I'm extremely impressed I think I'm giving my point to crumble overall but that says nothing negative about insomnia no Especially because they, I think Insomnia won more rounds, but I think that overall, I do think that Crumble is a more special experience and a more special cookie. Yeah. Well, maybe something that we said there may sum it up for you guys based off of, you know, how we felt about them. Maybe it would be a look into which one you would prefer. You're going to have to let us know in the comments if you've tried both, if you've tried one, if you tried the other, or if anything that we said today would steer you in the direction of which one you would favor. Ultimately, I think you can't go wrong with either. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Check out one of the playlists that we have down below or some of our other videos on the channel. Subscribe if you are new, and hopefully we will see you again in the next one.